ended because he became uncooperative, right? Yes, he indicated, he, uh, he, he stated some of the fact that he didn't want to talk anymore. He sort of uh, pondered his hand on the table and then, um, and then he was uh, terminated. So if uh, Internal Affairs in their investigative summary of this incident, they said that Love was cooperative during his interview with you, that wouldn't be accurate, right? Check the foundation calls for speculation on that exact quote to his officer, I think that is appropriate. Well, yeah, we can, I can grab it. Words or um, 
speak with them and, and raise my voice lightly or raise my voice during the interview if I think it's going to be effective. So, is it so there's that last one you're talking about. There's nothing wrong with that style, right? Correct. In fact, you guys are taught to use that kind of style, right? I, I have had training in interviews, and um, I don't recall specifically if we're taught, but I have used it throughout my career on occasion, um, raising my voice and confronting people. So, for example, I've heard sometimes people from the street need street talk to them. Is that is that common in your practice? <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, everybody's style is different. My particular style, I try to appeal to people and have and convince them to tell me the truth. And uh, I don't use the hard abrasive style off because it doesn't work for me a lot of times. Other detectives, it does. Um, so it depends. And sometimes someone, a prisoner will be interviewed once, and you'll do the interview with your rapport building style, and then the lieutenant will task someone else who has a different style to do the interview, right? That, that's possible, yeah. Especially if you need a confession, right? Well, I mean, I don't want to say especially if we need a confession. Um, in, in these child abuse cases, obviously, when you're dealing with them, a truthful statement, and if you want to call it a confession, a confession is important, um, but I think in every one of these cases, we want to get to the truth and um, have the suspect admit to what he did, if he did not he did not do something. So I think in every case, um, we want to get to the truth and get a confession if if, that's, if the person truly did do it. Motion approach? Sure. I'm gonna show the witness What's being marked as Exhibit 40, I believe, provided the defense counsel and the commissioner with a copy. The Duran Love has stood up and is in Detective Gomez's face, right? Correct. But let me ask you real quick. Are you moving the admission of this into evidence? I will at a later point. Okay. So, so, so you can now. I don't believe there's going to be any objection to it. No, I'm trying to Let's go ahead so we get the whole. Sure, sure. He said to piece. He said to piece. The, the whole. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to do all that. I, yeah, I have all of them. I just have a couple that I have. Hold on. So, that's not good. Whatever you prefer. What I'm saying is, when we admit, why we admit them? Yeah, 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 at the end. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, so, there's no, no objection to proceeding this way, but, uh, but this hasn't formally been admitted at the Correct. Okay. Do you want to mark right now? It, it, in this photograph with Duran Love and Detective Gomez, is different than what happened at the end of your interview, right? Yes. Duran Love didn't bring his hand up, his right hand up, like he did, like he did in this picture, right? Correct. That's all I have. Thank you. Let's stick with the, the photographs that we see in Exhibit 40. Uh, in the um, my understanding is when you and Detective Mueller did your interview of Duran Love, both of you were sitting on the opposite side of the table, right? Well, I, I mean, the table, if I remember correctly, it, it's. The table wasn't how it was depicted in this photograph. If I remember correctly, normally when I do interviews, I put the table in the corner, so there is not a table between myself and the defendant or the subject I'm interrogating. So I can see his body during the interview. I don't like to have a table um, in between us. Um, so I believe that was the case. So the table would have been off to the side, and we would have been across from him. Sit. Yes, sit. You never stood up and, and got into Mr. Love's face. Like I never stood up in, during the interview unless I was exiting the room for some purpose. Um, <clears throat> we discussed a little bit about rapport building um, with regard to uh, getting information from that suspect. Um, you spent almost two hours with uh, Mr. Love. I assume most of that was rapport building. 